Hey guys, Paleo Chris, I'm out today with my buddy Justin. We are currently standing on Justin's boat and we just went on a beautiful boat ride to come here to a little place in Florida, a little secret location to find Pleistocene age vertebrate fossils between 1.8 million and 10,000 years old. This is a spot that I found quite a while back and I'm bringing Justin here hopefully to find we, we really hope for a big cat fossil. Yeah. Any kind of big cat fossil. Anything. What do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a veterinarian, but I also work with big cats. Big cats, so that would be the holy grail fossil. It's actually my favorite kind of fossil. I get the feeling it would be your favorite yeah. kind of fossil yeah. too. So that's the, the goal today, but I'm gonna be happy with pretty much anything I find. Same here. I'm happy to just get on the bottom, blow some bubbles and have a good time, so. Yeah. All right, let's uh, get suited up right now. Got my wetsuit on already. We got the scuba tanks and everything down there and we're gonna jump in, bring you guys underwater on a GoPro. Let's get to it. What's that right there? Let's go look. Oh, it's a river beer, unopened. A little bit of salad for nutrients. Would you guys drink a river beer if you found it? I'm not drinking it, personally, because I don't drink beer, but whatever. <laughs> All right, weight belt. The neoprene on a wetsuit is very buoyant. So you need to have a whole bunch of weights to help weigh you down. Plus, I like to have extra weights because the current of the river is not fun to fight unless you have a lot of weight. Then you can just kind of sit there. All right, there we go. All right, I'm gonna get this strapped in here and then we're gonna go down there. You ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. All right, so here are some of my fossils from the very first dive of the day here. Let's zoom in a little bit so you guys can see each individual little fossil. This here is a puffer fish mouth plate. That's what puffer fish would use to crush up their food. And this is older than most of all the other fossils here. This comes out of the limestone in the bottom of the river. We have rooted alligator teeth right there, or a rooted alligator tooth. We have quite a few bird bones here. Like those are all fossilized bird bones. There's another one there. This is a bird bone right here. Let's see what else we have. That is a fossilized camel tooth right there. Yep, camels were native to Florida at one time. That is the incisor to a tapir. It's an echinoid right there. So like a sea urchin, sea biscuit, whatever you want to call it that is part of the incisor to a giant beaver. Beaver that was hundreds and hundreds of pounds. These are osteoderms, or parts of the body armor to giant armadillos. So the armadillos that were hundreds and hundreds of pounds. Absolutely wild, wild animals. We got a couple little horse teeth here. Horses were also native to Florida at one time. 
Let's see what else we have. Deer antler here. That's a chunk of deer antler. It's hard to tell. You can see a little bit of a ring. It's all worn down. Uh, what else do we have here? This may not look like much, but this is actually a little tiny fragment of a mammoth tooth right here. You can see there's like a weird line. That's how you can tell. That's a broken claw. Believe it or not, that is to an enormous, probably an alligator snapping turtle, given the size. Definitely a turtle. And it's just massive. There's another horse molar right there. Look at that cool texture on the top, the chewing surface there. I also got this little fossil here. That is an armadillo scute, but it's to a modern armadillo, the nine-banded armadillo. And when you look at it compared to this extinct giant armadillo, you can see just how big those animals were. I mean, I don't even know how many of those you could fit on there. You could fit three across, and I don't know how many high, but they were, these things were massive, massive animals. One of my favorite, I'm not gonna lie. I think those things are super, super cool. And here's a little manatee molar. Nice condition, complete, perfect enamel on it. Ooh, it's windy. So Justin's out in the water right now and I peeled down my wetsuit and uh, I've decided to walk around a little bit to check out this area, explore a little bit, maybe take a look up in the woods. And when I'm ready, I'll get back in that water. But it's pretty cold, guys, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'm on a little bit of sleep and scuba diving is a lot of hard work, so I don't know. I'm just gonna explore a little bit, I guess. Let's take a walk up this way. Oh my goodness. You guys can't see it because the camera won't focus. There, let me do manual focus. There, oh, there it is, look. I almost ran into this guy. It's a banana spider because it uh, tasted like a banana. <laughs> <laughs> Let's walk this way. Check out these cool mushrooms all over the place here. All over this tree. All the way up to one side and down the other. Man, take a look at that wasp nest right there. That's some spooky stuff. I do not like it at all. Whoa, even bigger clusters of those mushrooms. So cool. Looks like there's some raccoons in this area here. Probably come down here and find food and wash it off in the water. So it's kind of interesting what we have here. This rock right here is an Eocene limestone. So this is old marine ocean sediments here. And you can see little fossilized pieces of shells. Dang, that bug is so loud. What in the world? See, that's a little piece of a fossilized shell right there. I believe that may even be part of an echinoid or a sea urchin. We'll see it right now. Yep, that's a little sea urchin. I'm gonna clean that off for a second here. So there it is cleaned off. You can start to see the little star pattern on the top of it there. It's pretty much like a little sand dollar. Right there, you can see it's pretty thin. But that is Eocene. That is much older than the other fossils that we're finding here in this area. If we look just up here a little bit, right under here I spotted a black color. Let's try to wash that off. That is fossilized um, turtle shell right there. And that's much younger. They're, these are both fossils, but this is an Eocene fossil. This is a Pleistocene fossil, so there's a huge difference in age. That's much older than the black thing there. Something else here. Let's see. Ooh, that's, that's pretty big. Oh, yeah. That's turtle shell. You see right there? That's where, like, a leg comes out of the bottom of the shell, I believe. Yep, that's cool. I think I've rested long enough. I'd like to rest even longer, but I know if I don't get out in that water right now, I may not get out there at all. I want to find fossils, don't get me wrong, but that water is cold and I'm tired, but I'm going to go out there anyway, so let's go, I guess. <laughs> all right, I'm walking down to Justin right now, see how he's doing, and hopefully get in a spot that has some good stuff in it. Mm. Man, nice. Gator tooth and a shark tooth.
<laughs> yeah, man, that's a sloth claw right there. Yeah, it is. <laughs> that's killer, man. man Congratulations. Get the video. Wow, I got a video right now. I was rolling oh, when you showed me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. All right, man. Sweet. Now, now I'm fired up. Now I'm ready. <laughs> it's right over here. All right, man. Crazy. <laughs> Here is a giant ground sloth claw that I found in this same area a while back. Found this just snorkeling right in the same area. Look at the size of that sloth claw. Excellent, excellent condition. Now the claw itself would have actually been significantly bigger than this. This is just the claw core. So the claw would have gone way out from that tip even. Just these animals were absolutely incredible, incredible beasts back in the Pleistocene. Would have been incredible to see them alive. Just look at that thing. guys I think we're about done hunting for the day I have my tank set over there I'm about to pull my wetsuit off and then we're gonna lay all the fossils we found today out right here I have some of mine over there but the majority of mine are still in the bag on that tank right there all right guys we have all my finds laid out over here and Justin's finds laid out here over here I showed you guys a bunch of those finds already that was from the first dive and then over here we have taper tooth muskrat bone there a couple horse molars horse toe bone taper toe bone a bunch of turtle shell this is a giant beaver molar right here little tiny turtle bone right there bird bone this giant taper tooth is one of my favorite finds of the day i believe my personal favorite find that i got here is this horse jaw I love pieces like that. Nice jaw section with a beautiful molar in it, and it sits really nice for display. Justin's finds over here, he got a bunch of fossilized roots. Listen to these things. Listen, they look just like roots, but they're totally solid and mineralized. 
a bunch of horse teeth here, giant armadillo scoots, a bunch of random bones, some random stuff up that way, toe bones. Check this out right here. This is the tip of an incisor to a giant beaver. That is a really uncommon, beautiful, beautiful find. We have a couple big, look at that big old giant alligator tooth. That's awesome. But the best find of the day, hands down, was Justin's sloth claw right here. That is an absolutely killer, killer find right there. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button for me and subscribe if you haven't already. Check out Justin's Instagram, linked down in the description below, and we'll see you in the next video.